السلام علیکم دس از ڈاکٹر ابتسام الہی پی جی آر ایف سی پی ایس کارڈیالوجی فرام پنجاب انسٹیٹیوٹ آف کارڈیالوجی ٹوڈے فرسٹ آف آل تھینک یو ویری مچ فار کارڈیالوجی کارڈیالوجی آف ڈیٹ فار پرووائڈنگ ود اپرچونیٹی ٹو ڈسکس دا کیس فورٹی ایٹ ایئرز اولڈ میل پرزینٹیڈ ان ای آر ود چیسٹ پین فار تھری ڈیز Uh, he also has a history of exertional angina for two months. Uh, his risk factor were uh, smoking and uh, obesity. Initially, he was treated in primary health care department medically. Then he was referred to PIC for further assessment and management. ECG in ER uh, department showed ST segment elevation in anterior leads V1, 2, V4 uh, with late presentation. Echo showed uh, uh, anterolateral wall hypokinesia with uh, uh, LVF uh, of 40%. This is the ECG which showing late presentation uh, and anterior leads. Sorry. This is the uh, coronary angiogram uh, which is uh, done in uh, lab uh, which shows uh, Uh, total uh, osteal LED and uh, normal LMS uh, uh, with uh, normal bifurcating and normal and serve was normal. This is the uh, uh, view of uh, RCA which shows mild, mid and dominant. Coronary angiograph shows total osteal LED occlusion and distal vessel filled uh, retrogradely uh, RCA collaterals. Serg was normal and RCA was dominant as a mild mid disease. Uh, PCI2 LED uh, slash surgical management was advised due to ongoing ischemia and uh, patient refusal for surgical intervention. Uh, PCI2 LED was planned as a shared decision. <coughs> <clears throat> this is uh, the case uh, in uh, first view in which uh, 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 total uh, osteal uh, occlusion and uh, the BMW was uh, uh, passed to the LED and it, uh, it, it is ballooned with 215 uh, mm. So this is uh, the next slide which shows uh, uh, stent is being deployed, uh, 3 into 24 mm desk impl uh, implanted. Uh, <coughs> this is the post uh, stent view. Uh, so here uh, we uh, have got the complication. Uh, first was serve was normal. Uh, it was not dominant, but uh, it was normal and it was uh, quite good. So it, there is a no flow in the left circumflex. So uh, uh, this is uh, just uh, the literature uh, showing uh, abrupt closure, uh, abrupt vessel closure during coronary intervention uh, is defined as abrupt cessation of coronary flow to temigrate 0 to 1 flow before or at uh, less than or equal to 5 mm distal to the lien in an RT in which uh, PTC was attempted where the, uh, there had previously temigrate 2 or 3 flow prior to the procedures. There are the risk factors for abrupt closure vessel. Uh, Commonest are proximal uh, vessel tortuosity, diffuse lesions, pre existing thrombus, degenerated vein graft, extremely angulated lesions, unstable angina, multi vessel disease, and female gender uh, chronic renal failure. Common causes are chronic dissection, uh, intra coronary thrombus formation, uh, native thrombus, uh, atheroma or embolization, air embol uh, embolism. Coronary uh, no reflow and coronary vasospasm. Prevention uh, maintain uh, ACT uh, activated clotting time greater than 300 throughout procedure, make surface interface is free of air, avoid high pressure balloon dilatation or stenting, avoid unnecessary post dilatation, very long stents, uh, use distal uh, protection devices in vein graft, uh, PCIB, careful when retaining delivery after stent implantation. These are the management and uh, I have got the summary of abrupt uh, vessel closure management. Uh, 
uh, if we have uh, uh, got the dissection, minor dissection usually heal without clinical sequelae, no treatment required. Major dissection, repeated prolonged low pressure balloon, uh, uh, stenting, uh, stenting in case of proximal or mid vessel segment or impaired flow due to dissection. Thromboembolism, uh, which uh, we thought we have uh, the case with thromboembolism, uh, and uh, uh, it uh, can be managed with uh, trupin, pass or microcatheter to administer vasodilator distally, check ACT to keep uh, greater than 300, and consider starting IV, um, IV cangrelar or bailout GPI. And balloon dilatation and thrombus aspiration in case of stent thrombosis, stenting in on case of thrombus, thrombosis in an unstented vessel segment. And uh, if uh, there is a no reflow, intracoronary adenosine, nitroprusside, uh, rapamil or GPI should be administered. Uh, transit catheter or over the wire balloon should be uh, uh, used to deliver the vasodilator to the distal microvasculature. Insertion of IABP to improve the flow. Air embolism start 100% oxygen, flush air with the uh, free line uh, vigorously in the coronary arteries. Aspirate blood via guide catheter and uh, re-inject forcefully back into the coronaries. In our case, after LED stenting and abrupt closure in uh, sir, patient becomes symptomatic and develop chest pain and hemodynamically uh, unstable. You see, showed SC segment elevation and bradycardia. All the conservative matter, uh, measures, uh, which are vasodilators, nitroprusside, and uh, uh, aggressor tyrofiban were given. Uh, then. Uh, but patient conditions were not improved and symptoms continued. Then uh, PCI to CERC was done uh, by uh, Agrastat, uh, followed by Agrastat infusion. Post ECG showed non uh, significant, less than one mm, small box significant elevation in inferior leads. And on bedside echo post uh, PCI, there was no hypokinesia in inferior leads or MR. LV was 40%. After two days stay in coronary care unit, patient was discharged with possible awareness regarding his risk factor modification and compliance on medication. Uh, this is, uh, this is, is the uh, view uh, in which uh, Sarak was uh, uh, wired. Uh, uh, the BMW was passed, uh, which was previously passed in LED, then it was passed to the Sarak. And it was pre, uh, first of all, it was ballooned, but uh, there was no flow after the ballooning. So uh, the plan was, uh, stent was uh, deployed there uh, in uh, CERC to OM. Uh, th that was a 3 into 30 mm uh, desk was placed. This is the post stent view, uh, which showed the uh, uh, good flow uh, in CERC, but there is a, again an occlusion in AV CERC, the branch uh, uh, of uh, left circumflex. So after uh, after this, uh, AV cerg was ballooned uh, with 215 uh, mm uh, at uh, low pressure, and this is the uh, post balloon view, which shows which shows good flow in uh, uh, cer left circumflex. So this is the final view uh, after PCI2, LED, and CERC. Thank you.